On November 27, 2024, HD Hyundai Heavy Industries, HHI, officially delivered the Jiangzhou the Great, DDG-995, an advanced 8,200-ton Aegis-equipped destroyer, to the South Korean Navy, ROKN. This significant milestone took place at HHI's Ulsan Shipyard, where representatives from the Korea Defense Acquisition Program Administration, DAPA, the South Korean Navy, and international guests from nine other countries, including the United States, Poland, Indonesia, and Peru, gathered to celebrate the event. The Jiangzhou the Great marks the first vessel in South Korea's King Jiangzhou KDX-3 Batch 2 class, an integral part of the nation's ongoing efforts to modernize and strengthen its naval capabilities. Named after King Jiangzhou, the 22nd monarch of the Joseon dynasty, the Jiangzhou the Great, DDG-995, is the lead ship of the Batch 2 Sejong the Great class destroyers, also known as the King Jiangzhou class or Gwangito 3 Batch 2 class. The ship represents a significant leap in South Korea's naval technology and defense strategy. The construction of this destroyer began following a contract in 2019 with the Defense Acquisition Program Administration, DAPA. The keel was laid in October 2021, and the vessel was launched in July 2022. After undergoing extensive trials and evaluations, over 550 in total, the Jiangzhou the Great is scheduled to be commissioned into the South Korean Navy on December 2, 2024. It will undergo one year of operational training before its planned deployment in December 2025. The Jiangzhou the Great Destroyer is a highly capable warship, designed to address the evolving regional threats facing South Korea and to enhance the country's maritime defense posture. With a standard displacement of 8,500 tons and a full load displacement of 10,000 tons, the ship is comparable in size to other advanced destroyers like the U.S. Navy's DDG-X and China's Type 055. It measures 165 meters in length, with a beam of 21.4 meters and a draft of 6.25 meters. The ship is powered by four General Electric LM2500 gas turbines arranged in a combined gas and gas COGAG system. This propulsion configuration enables the Jiangzhou the Great to achieve speeds exceeding 30 knots and offers a range of 5 500 nautical miles, with an endurance of up to 30 days. The hybrid propulsion system enhances fuel efficiency during non-combat operations, a key feature of the Batch 2 class. The Jiangzhou the Great is equipped with an impressive array of weapons and defense systems. The ship boasts an advanced Korean Vertical Launching System 2, KVLS-2, which features 88 cells, a reduction from the previous Sejong the Great class 128 cells. Despite the reduction, the new system supports larger and more versatile missile payloads, including long-range precision strike missiles. It carries 48 MK-41 vertical launching system cells for SM-2, SM-3, and SM-6 missiles, designed for air defense and ballistic missile defense. The destroyer is also armed with 80 KVLS cells capable of deploying KSAM surface-to-air missiles, KASROC Red Shark anti-submarine missiles, and the Chonggung-3 long-range surface-to-air missiles, along with tactical surface-to-surface -surface missiles. Additionally, the ship is equipped with state-of-the-art radar and tracking systems, including phased array radar, infrared, and electro-optical tracking systems, which enhance its ability to detect and track multiple threats. Its stealth design helps minimize radar cross-section, ensuring improved survivability in contested environments. The Jiangzhou the Great also features enhanced anti-submarine warfare ASW capabilities, such as a domestically developed sonar, a towed array sonar, and the ability to deploy long-range torpedoes. The destroyer can support operations of MH-60R Seahawk helicopters, which expands its operational reach and versatility. These ASW systems significantly strengthen South Korea's ability to counter underwater threats, adding a critical dimension to its naval power. Moreover, the ship is equipped with the Aegis Combat System Baseline 9C2, enabling it to detect, track, and intercept ballistic missiles and other high-priority threats. This system works in conjunction with the N-SPY-1DV radar, which enhances its capacity to engage multiple targets simultaneously. The Jiangzhou the Great is the first in the KDX-3 Batch 2 series, which includes the Daesun Zhong Yakyong, DDG-996, slated for launch in 2025, and a third vessel to follow. The Batch 2 program, budgeted at 3.9 trillion won, is expected to conclude by 2028. This initiative aims to fortify South Korea's maritime capabilities, particularly in the area of countering ballistic missile threats, and aligns with the Navy's sea-based maneuvering three-axis system. This strategy integrates missile defenses, precision strike capabilities, 
and underwater kill chains to counter regional missile and nuclear threats. The delivery of the Jiangzhou the Great also signals South Korea's growing prominence in the global defense industry. Representatives from countries such as Poland and Peru attended the ceremony, highlighting international interest in South Korea shipbuilding and defense technology. Furthermore, the event underscored potential collaborations in maintenance, repair, and overhaul MRO services, particularly with the United States, signaling a broader global impact of South Korea's naval capabilities. The delivery of the Jiangzhou the Great, DDG-995, marks a major step in South Korea's efforts to modernize its naval fleet and enhance its defense capabilities in the face of evolving regional threats. This advanced destroyer not only strengthens South Korea's naval power, but also sets the stage for future advancements in the country's shipbuilding industry, while positioning South Korea as an important player in the global defense market. Thank you.